Hey guys, the Superview Show here for another episode of Why You Should Listen To. This is a what you should why you should listen to episode on Pearl Jam. I go the whole premise of this show is that I go by Spotify streaming numbers and what low, numbers are lower than others and why I think you should listen to these artists and here is why I think that you should listen to Pearl Jam. This is the only vinyl I have of theirs. Um obviously this is Pearl Jam's 10. Um, iconic 90s grunge era masterpiece of an album. One of the best, not the best, but one of the best debut albums ever in all of music history. Um, with songs like Even Flow or Alive, Black, Jeremy. Those are still played consistently today on rock radio. Um, all the songs written by all the band members individually. Eddie Vedder. Uh, Stone Gossard, they all wrote the, they all wrote these this album individually. They all wrote different songs, and it's a fan it's a fantastic album. I've played it from start to finish. On how I played this album from start to finish on my turntable. Yes, I have one, and I was kind of amazed by how great it sounded as one album, and not just even flow on the radio, or not just alive on the radio, or not just black on the radio, or Jeremy the most overplayed Pearl Jam song on FM radio, just saying. Um, This is a great album. This is a great album from a great band. I know I'm I'm talking about the album right now, but this is why you should listen to Pearl Jam, the band. See, this album launched their career um, all across the country, and grunge exploded in 1991 with this album. Obviously, Guns N' Roses were still big. Bon Jovi was still big then. But this really like launched this, this and Nirvana really just slammed the coffin down on hair metal and hard rock radio, and really they said this is the new thing that we're going to usher in, and it happened. They were on the front gates of it, and they're still on top of the world today. They're still one of the biggest bands alive. In general, now I only have ten right now. I'm working on getting their second two albums as well, uh, which is uh, verses. And Vitalogy. Vitalogy has my favorite Pearl Jam song, Better Man. Better Man is my favorite, favorite Pearl Jam song. I love it to death. It's it's just so iconic to me. It, it's just it, it's the one that rings true the most to me. Uh, after that, they did a couple other albums that I didn't really follow closely with, but because I, I think their first three albums are their best, uh, in my opinion. Um, after that, they, they really start like they went to Yield, which had uh, given to Fly. They and um, I think they had in 2003, I believe they had no uh, backspacer. I, I'm not I'm not as familiar with their like mid 2000s or albums. I know in 2005 they put out their self titled Pearl Jam album, Pearl Jam, with the uh, sometimes known as the Avocado album. Um, that had Worldwide Suicide on it. Great song, Worldwide Suicide. I love that track. Um, and then uh, shortly afterwards, they had another album. Um, I think it was Lightning Bolt. I love Lightning Bolt, the title track, and Sirens, another great track on there. And then they just put out Gigaton in 2020. Um, obviously, with all the, they are very. I'm not. I'm just gonna chime in. A li- I hope this doesn't disturb you as a viewer, but I'm gonna just say a little bit of it. I'm gonna just shine a little bit of light on it. They are very, very politically active. Yes, we live at a t- crazy, still a crazy time right now with everything that's been going on. But I'm not going to chime in on that, mainly. I'm just going to say they are very politically active. If you have seen them live, I have not. If you follow them on Instagram, I do. You see how politically active they are. They're also, ver- they're also activists as well. And I shouldn't shy away from that. Pearl Jam are activists. They, have, they do Greenpeace stuff. They, do world, they fight hunger. They fight injustice in the world by using their band as a catalyst to make... Others come aware of, like, oh, we can donate to this food pantry. Oh, we can donate 10 bucks to this. You know, uh, Bruce Springsteen did a similar thing when I saw him. Um, I think they got the idea from him, to be honest with you, of uh, supporting local food banks wherever they tour. And at the venue, there's a, hey, here's 20 bucks for the New, New, Jersey, food, uh, New Jersey Food Bank, whatever, Food Bank of New Jersey. They do stuff out of Seattle. They do stuff all over the world to support and help out the planet, whether it be human rights. Or they do um, they do other things like um, save the whales. Like they do Greenpeace stuff. It's crazy how many how many organizations organizations they support as a band. But I want to get back to the music. Their music to me is very 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 good. I mean, their first album Ten is probably the most played 
songs or album of theirs, to be honest with you. Versus is right up there as well. Vitalogy obviously has better man. But once you get past that, it's kind of like a pick and choose thing for me personally. I know the diehard Pearl Jam fans are probably saying, but you didn't mention song A, B, C, and D. Look, I just haven't gotten into Pearl Jam that heavily. I know and I'm aware of Given to Fly. I'm aware of, you know, No Code. I'm aware of, like, Mind Your Manners. I'm aware of stuff like that. I just haven't gotten into it as heavily as you might think I have as a diehard, you know, classic rock, 90s rock, whatever fan. Um... One thing I'm, I'm going to say about Pearl Jam is that a lot of the songs on this album now are being played on classic rock radio. Um, there's a big radio station that I listen to uh, locally out of New York City, and they have an album. They, they're, they're New York's classic rock, Q104.3, right? Shout out. They, um, I love them. I, love, I listen to them. Whenever I'm down in that area, I listen. Um, to be completely honest, they were playing Pearl Jam the other day. This begs the question, is 90s rock, and that's a bigger discussion for another, another video, but is 90s rock becoming classic rock? Like, they were playing Green Day the other day, too. So, I mean, who's to say that Green Day is now classic rock? Because they're pretty darn old. They're like, they hit big in 94. They hit big in 91. So, you know, if you if you and a 4.3 starts playing, plug again, um, all due respect, go ahead. Um, they start playing Nirvana, then I know, then or Come As You Are, or something like that, or we'll see. I really don't know though, but and they, they're playing Tears of Fears the other day too. I'm like, what's going on? You know, uh, it was so cool. Uh, bottom line though, Pearl Jam, a great band. I highly recommend you check them out. Better Man is a classic track um, from them. But if you have not heard their album Ten, I highly recommend you listen to the album start to finish in its entirety, uh, from once to release. I recommend it. Because it's, a, it's a, actually a musical experience. These guys are fantastic. And like I said, I haven't seen them live. But I have some family members of mine who have seen them live. And they've said that they're one of the best live bands to go see. Um, even if you look at like Rolling Stone magazine, um, who they follow music news all the time. They've said that Pearl Jam is one of the best to top 10 live acts to go see. As I think of 2000, the article came in 2014. Uh, they said Pearl Jam was number 8. Out of 10 of the best live acts to go see. And when they did their top 50 of like 2014 or 15, they did they came in like number like 18 or something like that. Or like uh, uh, 17. They were pretty high up on the all-time greatest list. Um, uh, the, like the, the Chili Peppers were up there. Foo Fighters were up there. You know, stuff like that. But like they were, they were really high up on that list of like the best performance to go see. Uh, you could possibly see this Pearl Jam. So, anyways, um, I think the, but that, that, those are some reasons why I think you should listen to Pearl Jam. Great band. Eddie Vedder's the man. He's a down to earth nice guy. He has been around for a long time now, and his his band Pearl Jam. I do recommend you highly check them. I highly recommend you check them out. They are very good. If you have a turntable, great. If you want to stream them on Spotify, great. But those are some reasons why you should listen to Sp to Pearl Jam, not Spotify. Um, but if you like what you see here, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'd love to have you guys interact with us. And if you like what you see here, smash that like button. Love to see what you guys have to say about Pearl Jam. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. But for all of your why you should listen to videos, keep it locked on the review show. J-Man, off the rock.